some don't feel right. Like why? Why my heartbeat sound like it's in sync with the fan? Like wait a minute. So I stands up. Like at this point, I'm like kind of panicking. Out of nowhere, I start spinning in circles. Like for no reason at all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber, but if you're new, it's your girl Lex. And if you can tell by the title of the video, I'm back with another crazy story time. It's not even really that crazy, but it is. I'm lying. I'm going to be telling y'all about the first time I tried an edible. Look, I'm not telling y'all to go out and try one, especially because what happened to me. So don't think I'm going encouraging y'all to try drugs, okay? Because... I never even tried it again after this. So this happened when I was 20 years old. So damn, this is five years ago? Wow. I'm old, I'm old, I'm old. I was hanging with my home girl and I was over her house and I would think I was about to go home either the next day or I was going home that same day. So she was like, um, I got two edibles. I'm like, oh, give me one. like. You know, I always wanted to try one. So she had two chocolate chip cookies and the cookies was like this big, no bullshit. The cookie was big as hell. So I take the cookie and um, I was like, I'm gonna save it for when I get home. Like I want to eat it at home. Well, I mean, I am glad I ate this cookie home because of all the dumb shit that happened after this. I'm so glad I did not have this cookie at her house, y'all. Like I'm so glad. So. I think I actually went home the next day. So I was like chilling or whatever, talking shit like I always do, you know. So I'm on my phone. So I'm like, wait a minute, I forgot. I got an edible, like I'm about to eat it. I wanna say it's like eight o'clock at night. I finally eat the, I ate the whole cookie. The whole entire cookie. Like nobody told me when you first trying an edible that you're not supposed to eat the whole thing. Like you only supposed to eat half because like you don't even know what your tolerance really is with an edible. So I ate the whole damn cookie. First mistake there. So I'm laying down chilling, still talking shit on my phone. Whole hour passed, still forgot I ate the cookie. I'm steady talking more and more shit. And then it's like another hour passed and then that's when all the dumb shit started. I was laying down on my stomach, but I was on my phone. I'm like, some don't feel right, like why? Why my heartbeat sound like it's in sync with the fan? Like, wait a minute. So I stands up. So I'm standing up like, mm, okay, I'm tripping. So I lay back down. So then I'm like, no, for real. Like my heartbeat, I can hear the sound of the fan and I can hear how my heart beat through my ears. Like I can hear it. Now mind you, I had low key forgot I ate that cookie. So I go turn the fan off. I go lay back down. I'm like, nah, yo, like why my heartbeat still sound like it's in sync with the fan? Then I'm like, yo. I forgot I ate that fucking cookie. So I stands back up again. Like at this point, I'm like kind of panicking. I stand back up again out of nowhere. I start spinning in circles. Like for no reason at all. Like I don't know why. I'm spinning in circles. I'm spinning in circles. Then I just stop. I lay back down. I get back up again. Start spinning again. I'm like, yo, I'm really tripping. Like what's going on? Like. Yo, like I'm so scared. Like, why am I doing all of this? I'm it's like I'm not physically doing it. Like I'm having an out of body experience, but I'm trying to calm down, trying to calm down. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna leave back down. That didn't work. Cause all I could think about was how my heartbeat was in sync with the fan that was not even on anymore. So some type of way, y'all. I done made it down the hallway to my mom's room. Now, mind you, at my old house, it was two sets of steps in that house. It was a staircase by my room, and a back, and a far back, because that house was big as hell. And it was a staircase at the front of the house, like near my mom's room and my brother's room, and the second bathroom. So, I made it in her room some way, spinning, but I never fell on the steps. So I get to her room. I wasn't spinning no more at this point. I just stopped abruptly. I made it to her room, and I'm in her room just standing like, she like, hey, I'm like, yeah, so I think I need you to take me to the hospital. Mind you, we weren't even really talking at this time. Like, I don't know, I forgot why I wasn't, like, I forgot what had happened, but we wasn't even really talking. So she like, um, I'm like, yeah, I think I need to go to the hospital. She like, why, what's wrong? 
as soon as she said why well, was wrong why my dumb and start spinning in circles again. She like, what is going on? Like, what is wrong? Her, her boyfriend is in the bed, just looking like, what the, what, like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? I'm like, oh my god, I'm so dizzy. So she gets up and she runs over to me, and she like, what's wrong? What, but like, what happened? What happened? I'm like, I ate a cookie. So my mother like, what? So her boyfriend go run in my room to go see. So he like, she ate an edible. I'm like, Ugh. so she calling 911. And I don't know what happened, like, what the conversation was going, like, between them two, like, what the other person, like, the operator was saying. But I know my mother started cussing them out. Now, my mom is the type of person, like, if something crazy is happening, she is going to make the situation a little worse. Because, like, her spazzing out like that is really just start making me freak out more. Like, oh, my God, what's going on? Like, I'm freaking out even more. So, she, like... Get dressed. Matter of fact, you better get dressed because I'm gonna just take you up to, up the street to the firehouse because you know they like um, EMT certified. So I think she got my brother to run in my room and go get me some clothes to put on because I only had like a um, a robe on. Like I had just got out of the shower not that long ago. So while uh, they going in the room to go get my clothes, I'm like, while well, I'm still spinning, get my phone. Like I'm in the middle of almost dying, but I'm telling them to grab my phone. Like, are you dumb? I'm gonna die with my phone. Are you dumb? I'm trying to get dressed or whatever. And we all leave, me, my mother, my brother, and my mother boyfriend, we all go get in the car. I'm sitting in the front. I think my mother boyfriend driving, my, my, mother, my brother and my mother's in the um, back because she had a Infinity G37 coupe at the time. So, as we on our way to the firehouse, no lie, my brother is like damn near having an asthma attack because he see me freaking out, so he's freaking out. I'm like, and at this point, I'm like, oh my God, like, what is going on? And like, while we on our way there, like I'm trying to calm myself down. I still felt like my body was spinning, like my, my whole equilibrium was off. If you don't know what it felt like for your equilibrium to be off, just picture you feeling loopy and dizzy. So, we finally make it to the firehouse and um, they coming like towards me like, what, what's wrong? And like, um, my daughter ate a cookie with weed in it and um, she's really loopy. So they put me on the truck or whatever, on a little, um, it's like gurney, they put me on a little bed or whatever. And my mother was trying to go with, ride with me, but for some reason they wouldn't let her. I forgot why. So she was, they was just like, we just gonna follow y'all to the hospital. So I'm on um, the bed and we starting to um, move a little bit. So one of the EMTs is asking me questions. He's assessing me like, I took EMT in high school, so I knew what was going on low key, even though I was a little out of it. So I'm on a little bed in the back and the EMT is like, what's your name? I think I knew my name at that point. I'm like, Alexis. And then, as soon as they get to the second question, I'm like, yo, what you the ops? Like, what you, like, like, what you, like, what you the boys? Like, I thought he was the police. Look, this is how gone I was. I literally started thinking, like, that they were the police. Because I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to answer all these questions. Then they're going to try to lock me up. Like, I was so gone. Like, off at of one edible. Like, I'm so stupid. Like, I, I started getting even more scared. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm going to jail. I'm on the, I'm on, um, the bed in the back just moving. Like, oh, my God. They like calm down, relax, like just relax. So I'm asking the rest of his questions, and we finally um mix it to the hospital, which was only like 15 minutes away from my house. And I get to the hospital, and they roll me to like the wall. They rope, they put me to like a push me to like a wall. And in the hospital we was at, I hate this hospital. Like I'm a, I'm literally I beat my mom in them there, so I'm, I'm I'm just chilling by myself, and I'm I'm twitching on the bed like this. Cause I can't stand up and spend, so my body, I feel like my body was moving myself. I'm on a bit like looking crazy, like looking so crazy. So I'm like, they gonna let me die in this hospital. Like I hate this hospital. Like everybody knows this is like one of the worst hospitals. Like I'm really just like spazzing out. It's really not the worst hospital. I was just like, I just didn't want to be at that hospital. So my mom and them finally get there and I'm like, oh my goodness, finally y'all here. And I'm still spinning. She's like, stop. I'm like, I can't. Like I told you that I'm in dizzy. Like I cannot stop moving. Like I cannot stop moving my body. A doctor or somebody or a nurse finally comes and put me in a room. I was so happy. So I'm in a room and my mom just chilling there. So she like, who gave you this cookie? You know, I'm like, my homegirl gave it to me. So she be like, give me your phone. So she takes my phone and she goes out in the hall. And she calls her or whatever. And I'm just laughing in my head like, oh, this is hilarious. Now I'm just laughing like, yo, I'm so dumb. Now at this point, um, the nurse is like putting an IV in my arm and um. They made me pee in the bedpan, you know, cause they need to do some blood work and they need to figure out like what exactly is wrong. So my mom is going back, I think she's sitting in the, in the room with me and then the nurse comes back like not that long, like it ain't take that long for her to come back. And she's like, okay, so it was, uh, basically it was weed in my system that was it like, and then my heart rate 
my heart was accelerating and they wasn't gonna let me go home until like I calmed down because my heart was beating so quick like I was like having a full-fledged panic attack but I had never really had one before so I didn't know like like what that was about so after that I had to I didn't get to leave like I got there probably like 12 I ain't gonna lie, I fell asleep in between, like, they had stuff on my chest, the amount of my, amount of my, they had this thing on my finger, and they had some stuff on my chest, like, I had fell asleep, because we was there for a minute, we was there for, like, five, six hours, I didn't get to leave till six in the morning, like, it was literally really nothing wrong with me, honestly, like, as far as, like, you know, nobody leased nothing, I finally get to go home, at six in the morning, everybody is exhausted, like, I'm like, thank you, so I'm feeling a little better, so I go to sleep. So my mom didn't even go to work that day. It was like so late. Everybody's tired. So the next day comes and my mom like, you think you okay for me like to go to work? Like you think you're gonna be okay? I'm like, I think I'm gonna be okay. Now, my brother's at school and I think my mother's boyfriend is gone and um, it's just me and my mom. I mean, it's just me in the house by myself. No lie. By 10 o'clock, I'm calling my mom at work. Mom, come back home. I'm dizzy. I'm spinning again. Come back home. She's like, are you serious? So she comes back home. Like, I know she was pissed. Like, she literally just asked me, did she think I would be okay? I didn't know I was going to be acting dumb and shit again. At this point, though, I'm scared, though, because, like, why am I still dizzy? Why am I still feeling like this? There's no way this is a panic attack. Like, something got to be wrong with me. Like, why am I still spinning? Really, that goddamn cookie had me high for, like, three days straight. Like, I was so smacked. Like... I ain't never eat edible after that. But what happened was that triggered my panic attacks. Like, I was having them every damn day. Only at nighttime, though. Like, I would have panic attacks every night for, no lie, for like two years. Like, it's not even funny. Like, I was having serious panic attacks to the point where I would try to, like, put my head in the freezer to calm down. Like, I was sleeping in my mom room. Like, all that shit just really triggered my anxiety real bad. Like, I still have anxiety here and there, but... I know what it is now. Like I, like when I get anxiety now, I know exactly what it is. I know to calm down. I don't have to do the most. But back then, I was really young to be honest. Like I'm not that little right now. But like it was scary because I never experienced it before. So it's like, yo, what is going on? Like why do my heart feel like it's about to come out my chest? Like I'm so scared. Like oh my god, I'm about to die. Honestly, I was not about to die. But it was just like the scariest feeling ever. All the spinning and shit. Like, <sighs> y'all. I never had an edible ever again. I have no desire to try one ever again. Like, it only take me one time to go through something like that for me to never want to try it again, period. But that's all I got for this time. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any video suggestions, like you want to see a specific video, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to get that video out as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.